In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Porkbun domain over to Webflow. So this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. At the end of it, you should have your domain connected. So what we need to do is first go to Webflow and then find your website. So I'm going to go from my dashboard to this website I created just for this video. Now, once we're inside, we can go ahead and connect a custom domain. So you want to go to publish in the top right hand corner then click on add a custom domain. Now, if you don't have a premium plan, it's not gonna redirect you to this publishing page. It will first redirect you to the pricing page. From here, you are gonna to need to buy a basic plan because that's gonna allow you to connect a custom domain. You can't connect a custom domain without it. But once you've got that basic plan um, and you're on publishing, we can now connect a domain. So if you scroll down, you can go add a custom domain. If you go ahead and click on that, you can either connect it automatically, which I recommend, and it's what I'm gonna show you in this video, or manually where you have to add all the records yourself. I just recommend automatic, it is much easier. So go ahead and click on quick connect domain, and then a window will pop up asking you for your domain name, and this is where you need to go to Porkbun and then log in. So once you're logged in, you'll be on your domain management. From here, what you can do is find the domain, and you just wanna simply copy the domain name, now, once you've got that copied, head back to this Webflow window, paste it in, then click OK. Now it's going to recognize your domain and it should recognize it's registered on Porkbun and that did that very quickly. Now what we need to do is just log into Porkbun. So find your Porkbun username and password. If you don't know it, reset it because I'm telling you it's much easier to do it automatically than it is to do it manually. So my username here is KnowledgeBase. So we're going to go ahead and type in here knowledge base and we'll enter in my pork bun password. And once we've done that, we can click continue and it's then going to authenticate these login details. Now you're only giving these access one time and yeah, you give them permission to connect your domain. They're just going to add in the records for you. Now, for some reason, in my case, it isn't actually working and it's not connecting. Now, this is the first issue I had. I've tried this with Namecheap and GoDaddy and all these others. So maybe it's just a pork bun issue. And if it happens for you as well, I'll just show you now how you can do it manually. So go to manual setup, and then there are gonna be these four records we need to add. And these are fairly easy. So the first one is a C name. And so what you wanna do is you wanna copy the value. So C name, host name is www and the required value we've copied. We'll go to pork bun, we'll go DNS. And then what we can do, we can go type, we can go CNAME, host, www, answer, paste in this value, then click add. So there we've added the first one, which is a CNAME. Second one is going to be an A record. So we'll copy the value. This is fairly easy, right? So we'll go A record, we'll go at here, at host. And you basically just copy the instructions. It's not rocket science, but sometimes it is a bit fiddly. Now for the second A record, we'll type here, a record host at answer will paste in the second IP address. We'll then click add. So that should have added two A records. Now for the final one, it's a TXT record. You first want to copy the host name. So then we will go TXT uh, for the host. We'll paste in the host name and then we'll copy here the value and we'll paste the value in here and then we'll click add and that should add as well. So now we've got all of these four records. So that's what it should have done automatically. It should have added those records. So then click I've added and then there you can see you're all set. You can then click done and it says here your domain was successfully connected. Now, if you get this error, um, it just means that the domain hasn't propagated yet. It can take up to 48 hours. If you refresh the page, it might work. It also might not. You just have to wait now. Click verify domain. And there you go. See, one of them's been verified and they both have. So now you can go ahead and check out your domain and see if it links. Again, it can take up to 48 hours. So maybe it's not working just yet. If you do want to check to see if it's working though, just go ahead and Google for DNS checker. And if you paste in your domain into DNS checker and you see all green ticks, it means you've done everything correct. You're just going to have to wait now to 48 hours for it to propagate. And yeah. Once that happens, it should then have connected your domain to your website. So I hope that helped. If you've got any more questions, put them in the comment section below.